have the why don't you have the judo gi? Uh, uh, here. I just want to warm up okay. first. His name is Philip. My name is Philip. Hello everybody. My name is Philip. Hello everybody. He's a ex he's an expert <laughs> of uh, creating games and the moves. Yeah. <clears throat> he has he, he got his own move. Yeah, I got my own move. Just one. Just to one perfect. It's this. Just to dance in disco. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Okay. So in judo, uh, the most important is just to learn the principle. Like physical advantage also should be taken, but we learn more about the systematic uh, moves between human bodies. Mm -hmm. So now we just learn about Kuzushi, but firstly, we have to do this move. This is in Ponce Anage, but just let me do it. Ponce Anage. Kuzushi should be that way, right? But not too much, just to pull him all over the way out. Just to let, let him lean a little bit in order not to let him back, yeah. let him resist yes. from my technique. If we will do Kuzushi with the fir without first step, we don't know which person will be broken at the balance, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. So we need to just put one, the, the most stable step to make us, make ourselves more stable, more in, stable. Vert yeah. in vertical uh, Yes, so, so basically, um, we are always trying to make ourselves more stable than our opponent. Yeah. So and we are so we are promoting the, the falling. Because if you, yeah, of course, the falling. because falling yes. is scoring. In falling judo. is scoring. Yes. Nice. Like throwing is score, scoring. Mm -hmm. Falling is scoring. Then after that we have grab you know, ground techniques. Mm -hmm. So the first thing is just to st stabilize ourselves more. And now I'm more stable uh, and stronger at the vertical route um, moves than Kuzushi. Mm. And if he's broken, I will squat down and he's coming just leaning naturally on me. Okay. The reason why we have to start the Ujikomi, this entering entrance moves from the father point. Father point is I meant this. Feet. I meant this. Mm. Just to make the impact much stronger because if you will punch from here on the wall or maybe to the opponent or running and just make the more impact and just put put the power and just hit on this is much different so in a judo techniques that's the we can say the same thing but if we will just turn here it's nothing we, we don't have such a impact, mm. but if we start, for example, Uchimata might have very good example from here. Uchimata is this technique, right? But if we start from here, we don't have much space to make it stronger. Yes. So just to make our techniques more dynamic, we have to start from here and learn how uh, efficient is that technique and the impact. Nice, nice, yes. nice This nice. is first reason. Nice. Second reason, because <clears throat> if we even say about this um, efficient, the most efficient way of power use, this is still not really practical situation in yes. normal Japanese. Fa uh, <laughs> sorry, normal judo fight. But it's not practical if we are standing normally and if we lean in that way this is not practic practical and natural but if we push because practice on our in judo we have to use the opponent's reactions <coughs> and this pushing move might be imitated by this move mm -hmm. so in uchikomi practice we don't have to really push each other or really push and push back, but we will imitate this pushing motion by, by leaning, yes. By just leaning forwards and first step, Kuzushi, 
turn wrong, lift. Those are, that's the order. You know what I meant? Yes. 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 Nice. So those Very two nice. reasons are uh, Very nice. the reason why we yeah, have so, to so, lean. So forward. basically we are, we are constraining ourselves. We are making the distance smaller and... What do you mean constraining? <laughs> like, <laughs> like constraining that, oh, you cannot do the, the extra step, the extra preparation. Like you are in this place, so you learn like the mechanics, right? Yeah. You learn better the mechanics yeah. because you have less space, you have yes. less power available to you. But our teacher didn't teach us, but I just found out in my, by myself that, that I convinced myself in that way because why so far? I, I understand why is that um, making such a great mm. impact. Because it's dynamic, simply. But it's not practical. Mm. How is it practical? Mm. Yeah, probably. That might be practical from that situation. Mm. So now he's practicing. So when I guess uh, back steps move, I would just coach the students in that way. I coach him too, but firstly, I'm left lefty, so left hand is on the lapel and right hand is on the sleeve. Two steps in back, backward, two steps. One, two, but not from this leg, because we can't get far enough with this stepping back, firstly. If we step back with this leg first, we can back, we can step back further, much more. So, better to step back from the leg in forward. One, two. Make kuzushi. One, two. Another one. So, one, two, one, two. Like the first step is just to make two steps, two steps. One, two, one, two. It's also stable and good way to just move in one more time. Hold and stand here. One, two, push in, and on the same simultaneously stepping back. Two steps already done, two steps more. Nice. One, two, one, two. Cool. Okay. This is the first step. The second step is just to not to make one second step. This second step will be already turning around. So stand on the first step and this. But if you want to spin faster, you can be more conscious to. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I think some people would maybe say that I'm thrown around, but I think it's, uh, uh, you know, it's just good practice to try to remain stable when Kotaro is moving you. Uh, <laughs> it's much more difficult than, than you might think. So just, you know, just trying to maintain balance, 
in like so much chaos chaos and like in his own strategies for me i feel like it's, it's a good practice and i can also like through feeling uh, kotaro and through like feeling his experience with judo i can kind of sense the organization like how he's uh, organizing himself to throw uh, so yeah, it's, it's painful practice because I feel like I suck, <laughs> but, but you know, practice is difficult, so yeah, I mean, that's the, that's the point, right? You expose yourself to what um, your weakness and then mm. and through that you grow. <laughs> you agree I or no? <laughs> <laughs> I just you... also want to have fun, so I'm throwing. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, he's having fun, I'm trying to learn something. I'm I'm happy with the with the small wins, which is that you you don't, you don't always succeed. You know, small. if you don't succeed, if you can't throw me, then it's my win in yeah. my mind. It's my like a very small a very small win, but I get it. But you know, I am not Kotaro Sasaki. I am not a, a judoka like he is. So so I'm happy with this small win. Yeah, it's cool. What, That's are you, cool. what are you thinking? Uh, about <coughs> the cam camera angles. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. Yes, it's cool. It's better. Yes. Uh, <coughs> so about those small winnings, uh, I think it's a good progress too. Right? Because it's uh, absolutely uh, this type of feeling helps, uh, helps us a lot too. Like with the strong players, even I, would fight the strong, uh, stronger players or non-favorable players, you know. Even strong players, each other, they, if they're gonna fight together, they might have bad match for, you know, maybe for both, maybe one player would feel worse than the others. Even though uh, the strengths might be very similar and techniques, skills, are super similar too, like s techniques levels are mm -hmm. super similar even, even though uh, they are matching, like Tinder. Yes. <laughs> so... <laughs> <laughs> Tinder for judo. <laughs> yeah, Tinder for judo. No. no, but matching, matching, uh, not like not like Tinder, um, or maybe like Tinder, but like matching in a sense... Maybe not in this type <laughs> of matching, you yeah, know? Yeah, matching like, it's not they like are equal, they are equal level levels, this is what you mean. Equal level. Matching, is yes, what you mean yes. by matching? Uh, but, uh, by my meaning, matching means more like, oh, for this one side player, player A and B are fighting, right? Mm -hmm. And for A, this is really matching. Yes. Like mm -hmm. A right. would feel much better. Yes. This is much more. Matching. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to express it the other way, but it's just uh, feeling advantage mm. or feeling disadvantage. Yes. This is kind of. And in fights, we have absolutely we should have those. Mm. 
types of feeling, even mm -hmm. stronger, strong players are fighting though, right? But uh, then we should change the way of fighting. Mm. Uh, I think this can resolve the problem too. And in this fight, uh, actually, I felt like non comfort more, more less comfortable. Because uh, I'm weird. when you stay. Mm. When I don't move. Yes. Because <laughs> I, I felt it in as judo, well. this is uh, <clears throat> judo is a type of the sport to just the uh, just to beat up, not beat up, but throw the opponents out, and winning by arm lock or choking, right? Uh, we need to win. That's the main concept. Mm -hmm. uh, but in in my opinion, in the winning, we have some you know uh, adjusting the power and speed or something techniques to make throw. Throw is a beautiful thing. Yes. Throws are beautiful yes, thing. Beautiful. Arm locks, skills are beautiful. Just yes. to make something beautiful, yes. we need to fight. Yes. Mm. So winning and losing are winning is because of also losers. Mm. You know, this we need we need to bow at the beginning of the fight and Mm -hmm. Bow at the end of the fight because of that appreciation to make the be beautiful fight mm -hmm. and appreciation. Thank you for the nice fight. Uh, yes, and also, but also to win, you need to um, at least like uh, this is like the what makes sense for me. It's like to win, you have to lose like thousands of time. You need to lose and lose and lose. When you're learning, right? Mm -hmm. You are losing, yes. but this yes, losing yes. is is what later allows you to. To win, to make this beautiful. Do you agree with this? Is it, is it your yeah, experience yeah, as I well? I think so. Yes, yes. Uh, this is how uh, that that made me feel uh, that I need to also feel the small winnings, you know, as you felt mm -hmm, today. Mm -hmm. Because without that, we can't be motivated. Mm -hmm. uh, without progression, mm, yes. uh, without aims, aimings, mm -hmm. it's yes. difficult. Or uh, just to have fun. Just to, uh, I don't know this <coughs> in particular, like specific ways, but if you feel like you are smiling, mm. I, I even smiled, right? Mm -hmm. During the fight, because mm -hmm. that was fun. It's not because of like ironic, ironic <laughs> reasons or mm -hmm. mean reasons, you know, as a s yes. s like stronger players. Mm -hmm. But even when I was weaker, than the other players, mostly, then uh, the stronger player was having fun. Then that mm. made me fun too. Like, mm. That made me smile too. Mm. Nice. Yeah, also, I also was happy. <laughs> I felt that you were having fun. Right. Because when you're having fun and you feel that, then okay, you're stronger and you can do many things, you can try different things, you're enjoying yourself, right? Then I'm also learning yes. because you're doing that. And, but I, I think that requires, like, from me, I'm not sure if everybody would be able to appreciate that, you know? Like, for example, if I'm, if I, I'm really attached to the idea of I have to win, I have to win, then I wouldn't be able to enjoy losing and, like, feeling that, oh, you are having fun. Mm -hmm. And um, so I think that a certain, like, degree of, like, in practice, like, a certain degree of openness to, to losing and a certain degree of openness and to that it's not that it's it's rarely about this winning you know like this it's if you come to them to the mat or to like a competition it, it's rare like you don't compete so often right mm -hmm. and you call and you go there and then you have like this one goal one target but in practice it's different mindset right it's mm -hmm. different mindset practice and, and competition right Yes, uh, in a in a competition, most of players are more into, of course, winning, right? But uh, some of players are really want to be themselves. Mm. That's the criteria and that's the standard for them. If not, if they are not feeling themselves, they are losing. Like be, they might have such a thought if they lost that 
oh we lost because we lost ourselves mm. this is you know oh, the losing losing mm, I, I just this is con <coughs> uh, nani? Con coincidentally just mm -hmm. <laughs> this worries you know matching happened mm. but losing yourself lost uh, made made you lost lost mm. losing yourself in the fight yes so losing your your calmness like you're using your i think stability. those two of losing uh, are two of losing uh, okay. are not same mm. are originally mm. not same but i think just it happened coincidentally mm. uh, but mm. you have your own tactics you have your own feelings you have your you know own strength and speed tactic ta mm -hmm. techniques if you couldn't Exager uh, you know, ex execute them yes. your advantages it's losing mm. yes right so yes. you need to win in that way mm. you need to ah. get mm -hmm. throws mm -hmm. you, need, uh, you need to throw the opponent or you need to make Ipon or Azari and better score the, than the opponent in that way I think mm. you, you gotta be yourself than the others Mm. Nice, nice. Yes. So, so, so bringing yourself with yourself to the fight, mm -hmm. like bringing this prior experience, what you have done in the past and mm -hmm. how it's organized, and where do you keep your attention and what kind of strategies you have, what kind of movements do you have prepared, what sort of responses do you have prepared. So kind of bringing that forward and uh, and trying to. Um, to stay with this, right? Because mm -hmm. this is like a, this, this is you in the fight. Yes, of and course. And you try to stay with, with that. That's why Japanese judo, typical Japanese judo, is really standing. Mm -hmm. Not moving a lot. Standing because if we fall, we lose, right? Mm -hmm. It means of immediately that you lost yourself, mm -hmm. let's say. You lose immediately if you fall yes. down. That's why we need to be stable the most the most more than the opponents and keeping this good posture good strong posture and fighting it means you're gonna do a gripping fight yes. and if you find the you if you find the chance if you find chances you will attack <coughs> mm. only in this moment mm -hmm. if you made the safe moment to attack the opponent by gripping Gripping, 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 control, or if you see the this much of the time uh, of the chance, you need to attack in this time only. The other time, you will lead the opponents with grippings mm. and your moves, mm -hmm. but not too much, you know, yes. leaning yes, or yes, yes, yes. shaking. This might be also your own tactics. So there are such players mm -hmm. who, you know, moves a lot. Yes. To just to confuse the opponent. Yes, yes, yes. That yes. that might be also a tactic, but mm. you know, uh, just to I think the shortest way and the longest also the way mm. to so, so, learn. So judo. when you're so when you're can, can I ask something? Learn judo is just to ah, so stand in good position Same. and fight. Mm. So so when you're when we are fighting, you are you are trying to position me in a way so you are leading me in space and you're waiting for. The opportunity you're waiting for a position from which you could do something yes yes yes, yes. so, so and, and so you're like playing this game with me you're pulling pushing me around you we are kind of sensing each other and we are looking for the opportunities we are looking for a moment that could that we could throw and and this is why i think now i'm thinking oh uchikomi oh, wow the practice it's it's so important like to have this well mapped in your mind that you you have these techniques and you know when you know yes. when is the good time. You need to uh, calculate like yes. how many seconds do you need to enter? How many mo you know how much mm. of the moment do you need to enter? Yes. If you could make this much of the moment in a fight, oh, this is my moment, mm. and yes. you know you, you can make an entrance. Mm. Yes. So, um, <clears throat> what, what advice would you give me? Like what to focus on next, what to uh, practice? I think I know, but it would be nice to hear us also. 
I think you're doing very well right now and uh, accurate Uchikomi. I think you gotta still aim accurate Uchikomi. Yes, yes. Faster. Faster, yes. It doesn't have to be stronger, but in a certain position. Uh, and just to, you know, integrate it to Randori. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, but immediately, immediately going to Randori might be uh, not practical to integrate. With you, <laughs> also. Yes, right? so uh, with advanced players. Yes. So just Uchikomi is important and second practice is Nagekomi. Mm -hmm. Just throws. It can be, these moves can be in moves, you know? Mm. Vruhu. Vruhu. Like, that way, that way, okay. and yes. mm. making okay. this much time of yes. the moment. Yes, so basically taking the an uchi uchi Uchikomi and, and um, trying to uh, fit it in different situations in different ways. Yeah, it can be the same way all the time too, just you need to, as I told, uh, calculate. Mm. And you need to know how much time do you need. You know, faster the better, of course. But mm. more accurate, the better, too, mm. firstly. Because even you are faster at the baseball, yes. you are a pitcher. Faster, but if you couldn't uh, target, uh, how do you say, strike, strike zones, if you are uh, throwing only at the somewhere else, you cannot score, it's not good, right? more accurate. <coughs> okay. Thank you, Kotaro. I have to go. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. Nice. Good fun. Oh. Test. <laughs>